Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very very good morning to all seeing this video. In this video, we are going to see about Vodafone Idea Limited. So what basically we are going to see about Vodafone Idea Limited is that yesterday we said Vodafone Idea deal may, I mean the industry tower deal may get late because of this regulatory approval and now Vodafone Idea Management has clearly given official letter regarding this indirect tower deal. I want you friends to see this video fully because you could get our view on this deal. So first basically what they have given regarding this is that we want to say update on Vodafone Idea Limited equally stake in Indus Tower Limited. So they have said that actually this company is holding around 11.15% equity stake and in the merger the DOT has provided its approval under FEMA regulations. So basically Department of Telecom has provided the regulations required for Vodafone Idea Limited under this FEMA regulations so that they could able to proceed to the merger. But you should note that the long stop date was 24 February 2020. That means within this date all other regulatory approvals should be get by Vodafone Idea in order to sell the interest ever deal. But basically what happened is that they could not get the deal completed as on 24th of February 2020. So now Vodafone Idea Management and Bharati Infratel has decided to extend the date up to 24th April 2020 that would be the last date. And they also know that the consummation of merger is subject to mutual agreement on the pre-closing adjustments between these parties and other conditions. So they have said that they can have the right to terminate and withdraw the merger scheme on or before 24th April 2020. Therefore, say that as informed the time of merger announcement of Bharati Infernal and Indus deal, the company has the right to monetize 11.12% stake in Indus for cash. So, what basically this two parallel is that first they have extended the date of this deal. So up to 24th April 2020 this deal is being moved on. So what basically happening is that not only DOT approval is required, if when we, when we refer all over the they are saying that the NCLT approval is required and other various regulatory approvals required which may take two months also. But they are given that on or prior, on or before April 2020. Therefore, if government want cash of 4,500 crores for this HR2, then government must process this speed up. Because if government does not process this speed up, the company could not be able to pay this 4,500 crore and the government could not receive this amount. So how Vodafone idea is placed with this news friends, if you ask me guys, already is a life hanging stock, but it is putting a lot of weight to it. But People take it positive in this way because in this deal for cash they are given, in this deal for cash, if they are given this cash, they could get the cash fully for this award, they can pay fully for it. But it is the main point and also the given that on or before 24th April. So they have the power to complete before this uh, age dues also because I think it will complete before this age dues because they could, order for idea could get this amount. And also you should note the main point and then the last negative point is that they have the right to terminate and withdraw the merger scheme. So it is a very very main point note. They have the right because both parties are capable for going into tower deal and not because of this tariff problems and other problems that we endure in the market. So one negative, two positive. We are hopeful our mode of radio could show an upside momentum today. We hope so because uh, uh, enough of this downwards movement in Vodafone Limited friends and uh, this is about Vodafone Limited. If the like this still now then make sure you hit the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including Vodafone Idea.